Smoltz. John, when you look at the Atlanta Braves right now, first place in the East, their offense has been mashing essentially all season long. They lead the majors in runs per game. They lead in slugging. They scored 15 last night in game one against the Mets. And they got one of the best hitters, period, in the game right now, MVP candidate Freddie Freeman. Absolutely. Freddie Freeman, as well as a couple teammates, going to be looking to get some MVP votes. But what you talk about the Braves, Freddie Freeman's been the center of everything. He started off slow because of COVID, of course, didn't know what the season would turn into, but it's turned into a monster season. The Atlanta Braves have score runs. They can hit homers. Their bullpen has been very good. They need some help in the starting rotation. And you're talking about a team that can make a huge run in this postseason. Meanwhile, for the Mets, man, it really felt like they needed to sweep the series in Philadelphia. They took two out of three. They come home. They lose last night. In the wild card standings right now, they're two and a half back. San Francisco losing yesterday. Milwaukee winning yesterday. Mets have plenty of offense. They have struggled in the pitching department. And even though they've had that great offense, John, Pete Alonso, amazing season last year, having to get it hot in the final stretch here in 2020. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of pressure on players this year to get off to a good start because of the shortened season. And it's probably not a fair analysis of Alonzo's year. And because of a long season, he might put together two great months or a great month. But the pressure on him to repeat last year and get off to a good start has been difficult. But as you said, the Mets offense has not been their issue. It's been a lot of starting pitching minus Jacob deGrom. And they do have a heartbeat. They still feel like they can make that push here in the next 10 or so games. Pick the winners of six MLB three, the Mets and the Braves. And tall lefty rookie David Peterson is up on the mound for the Mets in this one. How about that Braves starting lineup? They have mashed 42 homers in 17 games this month. And it starts at the top with Ronald Acuna Jr., a double and a homer last night. Freeman, the MVP candidate, then Marcelo Zuna. He hit one of six home runs last night for the Atlanta Braves. Ozzie Albies hit ninth last night. He had two of them. He finds himself further up in the order at second base as usual. Austin Riley at third base. He went deep as well last night for the Braves. Now, John David Peterson, 25 years old. He was the Mets' first round pick three years ago out of the University of Oregon. And as you can see, tonight makes just his eighth career big league start. Yeah, nice surprise. He wanted to make the traveling squad, but he's made the big squad. And he's filled in nicely. Uh, the only problem he's had is running into a little early trouble. Once he gets settled, he gets going. And he's going to have to settle in early against that lineup you talked about for the Atlanta Braves. Fastball command will be a key. And if he can get off to a good start, he can hopefully, along with the rest of these Mets starters outside of DeGrom, they need to get something if they're going to make any chance or have any chance at the postseason. Now yeah, you're right. Steven Matz last night, two and two-thirds innings. The deepest start by Met in three games. How about the defense for the Mets? Nemo is in center. McNeil in left. Conforto in right. Good outfield for the Mets. On the infield, Andres Jimenez has taken over as the everyday shortstop these days. Ahmed Rosario to the bench. And, of course, Robinson Cano at second base. Dominic Smith enjoying a breakout year. Robinson Chirinos, the former Texas Ranger, named for the rest of that Mets starting lineup. Both Nemo and Conforto, an OPS of over 1,000 against righties this year. They'll face one today. What a breakout year for Dominic Smith at first base, batting cleanup. Eight homers, batting over 330. And Jeff McNeil, you can't get much hotter than this in the month of September, hitting 417 and a 500 on base. Ian Anderson, 22 years old. John, third overall by Atlanta four years ago, making only his fifth ever big league start. He has come on the scene at the right time when the Braves really needed a jump start in their rotation. Only issue from time to time, he loses command. The walks can get him a little bit. He has not given up many hits at all.